we're going to start interchanging um, fractions and percents uh, together in a ratio table. So we can think about one half of 240 to start with. Oops, 240. And in our ratio table, we're going to put, I guess, the amount of 240 that we are dealing with, amount of 240, and then just the number that it works out to be. So for example, if I have one half of 240, what do I have? Well, I would divide 240 by 2, and I get 120. Right? Cut it in two equal pieces, it's 120. And next we have 50% of 240. Again, that's just, well, that's half of 240, isn't it? So it has to be the same thing, or 120. We're just putting this together to kind of make that connection that a half is 50%. We move on, and we have 25% of 240. We're we'll actually taking 240 and breaking it in four equal parts, and that gives me 60. So notice 25% gives us 60. And in the next one, we're dealing with 12.5% um, right, of 240. Now, alone, that might seem intimidating, but we know 25% is 60. If I take 25% and divide it by 2, I get 12.5%. And I take 60 and divide that by 2, I get 30. So 12.5% has to be 30. So if I just if you were just given this problem right here, again, you could say, oh, I don't know what 12.5% is, but if I double 12.5, that works as 25%, and I can find that. And you can work way backwards. If you knew 25%, you could half it to get 12.5%. And that technique, I think, goes a long way. Now here, if I want to know what 1 8 of 240 is, we can use the ratio table to make sense of this. Notice that 25% is 60, right? That also means that 1 4th is 60 uh, out of 240, right? It's, that's 1 4th, that's 25%. What's half of 1 4th? If I cut 1 4th in two smaller pieces, I get 1 8 So, 1 eighth uh, is connected to 1 fourth, it's half of 1 fourth, so it has to be half of 60, and that's 30. And then we make a connection that, oh, since 1 fourth and 25% are equal, and 12.5% and 1 eighth are both half of 1 fourth and 25, but those are also equal. So 1 eighth and 12.5% are equivalent, and in both cases they equal 30. And notice we just use our reasoning to, to cut through these problems and make sense of what's happening.